Question 1. The scatter graph shows information about the height and weight for 9 students. The table shows the height and weight for 3 more students. On the scatter graph, plot the information from the table. So I've gone ahead and drawn those on. The first ones are 135 centimetres and weight of 70 kilograms. So that's that one there. The next one is 155 centimetres and 75 kilograms, which is halfway between 70 and 80. So that's that one there. And then the last one is 170 centimetres in height and the weight is 85, which is halfway between 80 and 90. That's that one there. Part B asks us what type of correlation does this scatter graph show? Well, as the weight is increasing, so does the height. So we could say that, or what it's really asking for is a positive correlation. Positive means if one thing increases, the other thing also increases. Part C the weight of another student is 80 kilograms. Estimate the height of this student. Well for full marks the first thing we need to do is to draw in a line of best fit. So I'm going to draw in a line of best fit. We should use a ruler for this but I haven't got that function so I'm going to draw a line like that. Maybe it could be a tad lower so I have a more even spread of of lines either of crosses either side of the line but that'll do. Um, and then it asks us, the weight of the student is 80 kilograms, what could its height be? So I'm going to draw a line from 80 until I hit my line of best fit. And then I'm going to go down to here, and that is 155 centimetres. So that's my estimate. So the key points to remember are the correlation always asks for whether it'll be positive or negative. If it's positive, it's going to be a line that looks like this. If it's negative, it'll be a line that is a downward sloping gradient. And if there's no correlation between the dots, if the dots are all over the place so you couldn't draw a line of best fit, then there'd be no correlation. And then on the estimating question, Remember, we must draw that line of best fit. So it's extremely important to make sure that we draw this line of best fit. Once we've done that, we can then estimate um, whatever it is that we need to obtain from the graph by drawing a line from other value given to the line of best fit and then going down.